Hey there guys and welcome to Amazon S3. In this tutorial, we're going to learn more about buckets regarding object key and metadata. So first off, we need to go straight to a bucket. So let's select a bucket from the list of buckets. Let's click on it. Let's go over the object key. Now for object key, it's every specific name that's given for an object. So object key names can help S3 get a hierarchy and start folders, as we can see here. Now to check the key of every object, you click on the object and you go to the settings of it right over here in the overview. As we can see, we have an owner, a last modified date, the E tag, the storage class, the never side, the server side encryption, the size and the key. So this is the object key, which is the name detect14.jpg, exactly the name of our specific object that we have selected. Let's try another object, for example. Let's choose this one. So the object key as well is its name. Now the object key names can include capital letters, as we can see, and lowercase letters, as we can see here. Also numbers, but it cannot include exclamation marks or question marks such as those. So let's go ahead now and check for object metadata. What you need to know about metadata is that it's actually, there are two types of metadata, some that are system-defined metadata and some that are user-defined metadata. Now the system-defined metadata are the ones that are set by the system when you create the bucket and the object, uh, they include the object creation date and the storage class. Let's check them out, for example, for this one. As we can see, the storage class and the object creation date, which is the last modified as well, those two, they cannot be changed because they are actually uh, being managed by S3 console. Now, as for the user-defined metadata, they are the ones that you supply for your object. And for example, which they include, the X AMZ meta prefix and the key value pairs. Let's check them out now. So to check the metadata of your object, you simply go to the tab called properties after entering your object. As we can see, we have the storage class, the encryption, the metadata, the tags, and the object block. So there it is, the metadata, where you assign optional metadata to the object as a name value, key value pair. We have one metadata, which is set, there it is, the content type, which is application, uh, the given one over here. So you can go ahead and select it and save it as your metadata, or you can go ahead and click on add metadata to add even more metadata, because these are user-defined metadata that you can enter whenever you need to. So for example, let's see, the new metadata, select a specific key to go with. Do you want a cache control, a content disposition, a content encoding, content language, type, expires, website redirect, sorry, or an XAMZ meta, this is the one that I was talking about. So let's say we want this one as the prefix and you give the value which is supplied with the key of your choice. So those are the object metadata that we've got and that we can add manually. After doing so and selecting the, the object metadata that you want, simply click on the Save button and you will be adding extra metadata to your specific object that you have selected. So you guys, that's all you need to know regarding our object key names and the metadata for your objects in your S3 buckets. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like the video and to subscribe if you'd like to learn even more about S3.